Good morning and a warm welcome to our service for Pentecost, the 31st of May. Jesus Christ, who we worship, is our crucified, risen and ascended Lord, and we have walked with him through his journey of love. We have faced the agony of his suffering and death on a cross. We have rejoiced at his bursting free from the bonds of death. We have enjoyed his risen presence with us and his revelation of himself. We have seen his return to the throne before which every knee shall bow. And now, with the followers of his own time, we await the coming of the promised Holy Spirit, his gift to his people, through whom we make Christ known to the world. As we wait in silence, fill us with your spirit. As we listen to your word, fill us with your spirit. As we worship you in majesty, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your healing, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your refreshing, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your renewing, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your equipping, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your empowering, fill us with your spirit. This morning's reading is taken from Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 22. The day of Pentecost had come, and they were all together in one place. Suddenly there came from the sky what sounded like a strong driving wind, a noise which filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them flames like tongues of fire distributed among them and coming to rest on each one. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to talk in other tongues as the Spirit gave them power of utterance. Now there were staying in Jerusalem devout Jews drawn from every nation under heaven. At this sound a crowd of them gathered and were bewildered because each one heard his own language spoken. They were amazed and in astonishment exclaimed, Surely these people who are speaking are all Galileans. How is it that each of us can hear them in his own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, of Judea and Cappadocia, of Pontus and Asia, of Perga and Pamphylia, of Egypt and the districts of Libya around Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, all of us hear them telling in our own tongues the great things God has done. They were all amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What can this mean? Others said contemptuously, They have been drinking. But Peter stood up with the eleven, and in a loud voice addressed the crowd, Fellow Jews, and all who live in Jerusalem, listen and take note of what I say. These people are not drunk as you suppose. It is only nine in the morning. No, this is what the prophet Joel spoke of. In the last day, says God, I will pour out my spirit on all mankind, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Yes, on my servants and my handmaids, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy. I will show portents in the sky above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and a pile of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before that great resplendent day, the day of the Lord shall come. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord on that day shall be saved. 
Men of Israel, hear me. I am speaking of Jesus of Nazareth, singled out by God and made known to you through miracles, portents and signs, which God worked among you through him, as you well know. This is the word of the Lord. Be with us, Spirit of God. Nothing can separate us from your power. Breathe on us, breath of God. Fill us with your saving power. Speak in us, wisdom of God. Bring strength, healing and peace. Blessed are you, sovereign God and eternal Father. Daily your spirit renews the face of the earth, bringing strength out of weakness, hope out of despair and life out of death. By the power of your Spirit, may your blessing rest upon us. May we be formed in the likeness of Christ and be witnesses of your astonishing love in these difficult times. And may we be filled with life in all its fullness. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. John 7 verses 37 to 39. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and declared, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture says, streams of living water shall flow from within him. He was speaking of the Spirit, which believers in him would later receive. For the Spirit had not yet been given, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. In these days of social distancing, it seems quite strange to hear a story of Jesus actually breathing on his disciples, breathing the breath of the Holy Spirit. Today, we'd probably think that was terribly unhygienic. And certainly, we'd probably all be wearing our face masks. But it is the breath of life that Jesus is breathing. Jesus, the divine Logos, right in the beginning of creation, is the one that breathes into being. When God speaks the words, let there be, it is, the, it is Christ, the Logos, the Word, Jesus, who actually brings things into being. He is the one who gives life. And now here, with his Holy Spirit, he is bringing life to the disciples. Of course, they were alive, they were active. But from this moment, they're going to be alive in a totally different way. They're filled with confidence. They're filled with knowledge. And they are filled with the ability to share with the whole world the great message of the gospel. They go out into the streets and everybody can hear them and understand in their own tongue. This is a universal language. It is the language of love. Today, we pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit upon us and upon our churches. A gift of the Spirit in great abundance so that we may be filled with confidence, with the power of Christ, to believe all the promises that he has given us and to live out the promise that is within us. It's a difficult Pentecost and it's a different Pentecost, but it is still a day when the Holy Spirit can be poured upon us, not just here, but across our world, the Holy Spirit that brings healing, that brings peace, that brings comfort and consolation. So let us today be glad and rejoice that God does not abandon us, that we are not orphans now Christ has returned to his rightful place in heaven. But now we have his power and we have it in all abundance. Have a really happy Pentecost.
we pray for God to fill us with his spirit. Generous God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask that we may be strengthened to serve you better. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. We ask you to make us wise to understand your will. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the peace of the Holy Spirit. We ask you to keep us confident of your love wherever you call us. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the healing of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to bring reconciliation and wholeness where there is division, sickness and sorrow. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to equip us for the work you have given us. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the fruit of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to reveal it in our lives in the love of Jesus. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the breath of your Holy Spirit given us by the risen Lord. We ask you to keep the whole church living and departed in the joy of eternal life. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. Generous God, you sent your Holy Spirit upon your Messiah at the River Jordan and upon the disciples in the upper room. In your mercy, fill us with your Spirit. Hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now our isolation blessing this week with Jeff and Gail Wellband. And my blessing for isolation, I think, is the fortunate enough that we live on a farm, which has given us time to watch nature and certainly with the weather as it's been, because I feel that had we had isolation in the winter, it would have sent us all crazy. But we did manage to get the vegetable garden planted even though the wildlife and Jack Frost decided they'd take most of what we planted. So consequently we had to do it again. But we've done that and now we're just waiting for the um, produce to become available. Um, the highlight of our last year was our son coming over with his family from America. Fortunately he got back there before the shutdown occurred. So that was a real wonderful thing to look back on over the last 12 months and when he got back he then moved into a new house so yeah. they did very well yeah. here we are we're now with the youngest members of, uh, on the farm who are having their afternoon tea as you can see it's a fairly frantic there, but uh, i'll try and keep out the way so i don't get splashed with milk keep safe everybody 
For 50 days we have celebrated the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ over the powers of sin and death. We have proclaimed God's mighty acts and we have prayed that the power that was at work when God raised Jesus from the dead might be at work in us. As part of God's church in Uppingham, Aston, Belton and Wardley, I call you to live out what you proclaim. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, will you dare to walk into God's future, trusting him to be your guide? By the Spirit's power, we will. Will you dare to embrace each other and grow together in love? We will. Will you dare to share your riches in common and minister to each other in need? We will. Will you dare to pray for each other until your hearts beat with the longings of God? We will. Will you dare to carry the light of Christ into the world's dark places? We will. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and all whom you love this day and evermore. Amen.